Hi, this is the third video in a series of videos on showing you how to set up your new league. Um, step one and two showed us how to enter league officer contacts and enter players. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enter your golf course, and we're going to click on maintain courses. Golf League Tracker allows you to enter as many courses as you want with as many tee boxes in each course. Uh, if you play different tee boxes in your league, uh, white, blue, gold, you can enter them in here with the proper course rating and slope and then turn on use course rating in your league settings and the rating will be used um, by the players and then the rating will be used by the system to calculate the handicap for the player uh, based on the tee box that they played. So to get started we're going to click on add new course and we're going to type in our course name and how many holes the course has. Uh, if it's a regular 18 hole course, choose 18 holes. If it's a 27 hole course and you, you're a nine hole league, I recommend entering this as a nine hole course three times and then entering a tee box for each one. If in a little more complicated setup, if you're an 18 hole league and play a rotation of those three nines, you're gonna have to enter them three different times so that you get the combination of all three nines in the system. So if you did um, nine, you know, holes one through nine and one, uh, 10 through 18, that would be one course. Um, 10 through 27 would be another course. And then 19 through 27 plus holes one through nine would be your third course. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna enter a simple 18 hole course and um, I'm just gonna type in the name and how many holes it has and click Save. Now we're gonna enter a tee box for that course. Each course needs at least one tee box because a player gets assigned to the tee box. You can choose a color for the tee box and a name. So the names for these tee boxes are simply the color that they are and the gender of the tee box. Gender matters because the course rating from the USGA is different for male, men and women um, in their rating system. They have different standards. So I'm going to enter the course rating for the front nine and the slope for the front nine and the back and the back for the back nine, slope for the back nine, and then enter um, the par, handicap, and yardage for each hole. Okay, so I've typed in all my values for the par, handicap, and yardage. And I'm going to click Save. And now we've added a golf course and we've added a tee box. If you play more than one tee box, we're going to click on Add Tee Box. And we're going to type in all that information with the other tee box name. In addition, you could take a tee box and copy it and then change some of the values. So let's do that. Let's say we play the blue tees and we have ladies on the league that play the red tees. I'm gonna click on copy and ask me if I'm sure I wanna copy it. I'm gonna say yes. And you can see it creates a copy. And now I'm gonna click edit. And now I'm just gonna edit a few of the things that need changing. So the tee box name is red. Change it to female. The course rating is a little bit different. It's actually harder on the front and on the back for women. The par and handicap are the same on this particular course. Some courses do have different par and handicap values and you can go and enter that here. And then we're just gonna go and enter the yardage for these tee boxes. All right, I've gone and modified the yardage for this tee box and I'm gonna click save. And you now see both tee boxes in here. Uh, one of the things that you need to be aware of is what the default tee box is. Generally, you're going to make the default tee box the tee box that most players are assigned to. And the reason it needs to know which tee box is the default tee box is so that it can calculate the player's course handicap relative to that box. There's a USGA formula for calculating the course handicap when playing different tees, and Golf League Tracker uses that exact system in doing so. So in this case, I want to make the blue tee box the default tee box, 
and I'm going to go back in and edit this tee box. And you'll see right here, switch to default tee box. I'll change that to yes, click save, and now it's the default tee box. Now I need to assign my players to this tee box. To do that, I'm going to click on the Assign Tee Box button. And what pops up is every player in your league, the system needs to know what tee box they play from. It has to know it to calculate the handicaps properly. Uh, so now all you do is change the selected tee box for the players um, that's required. So I'm going to choose this one, this one, um, and then I think there's one more. Yep. So we have blue and red tee boxes in use. And then I can click save. And that's it. So you can go and add as many courses as you want, add as many tee boxes as you want to a course. Um, you can change the order that these display. This information is printed when you print the scorecards. Um, so the order you can control as well.